Hey everybody, Matt here, and I, I'm here at Bardstown uh, Bourbon Company today with Vince Metcalf, uh, who's in charge of all the barrel picks. And I'm really excited because this is the first Origin Series barrel pick uh, that we've ever done that, that anybody's getting to do, really. So, uh, Vince, tell us a little bit about this program that's, that's been rolling out. Yes, yeah, so uh, we just started this year rolling out our own 100% estate distilled six-year-old Kentucky bourbons, right? So we had our Origin Series release uh, in January with the Kentucky Straight Bourbon and the Bottled and Bond. Uh, so we knew it was time to hold back a few of those from the Origin Series and, and we, we picked a select amount for the single barrels. So uh, same mash bill or as the Origin Bourbon, 60% corn, 36% rye, 4% malted barley. The big difference is these will be bottled at cash strength and of course single barrel. Yeah. So uh, in 2016 when we started distilling we didn't have a whole lot of capacity so we didn't make a whole lot of bourbon. So uh, what we have now that is six years old that's ready to bottle uh, it's very few and far between. So the, the interesting thing about these barrels this year is that they all uh, are there's a lot of similarities in where they were stored, but you can get a ton of variants just barrel by barrel. So it's uh, it's interesting to see uh, just how different they can be. Yeah, and, and I think one of the cool things about this is that 36% recipe, you know, a lot of our folks will be very familiar with that from MGP and from Four Roses, and it's kind of a sort of a lineage all the way back to Seagram's on this 36% mm -hmm. really high rye recipe. Uh, so it's great to have this available now because I think people, you know, if it's me, I'm going to run out. I'm going to get a Four Roses barrel proof single barrel out. I'm going to get this six-year-old single barrel out. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get an MGP six-year-old single barrel out. And I'm going to have a lot of fun, like, comparing and contrasting. Because I think when you do that, when you're comparing similar mash bills, um, you can kind of get a sense of, like, what really is the house style of Bardstown. Exactly. So that's kind of what I wanted to talk to you about. Let's just dig right in. I'm going to grab the sure. first one here. Um, like you said, these are all six years old. Uh, they're barrel entry at 120 proof, so about five proof points lower than kind of standard, you know, legal standard. Um, but these are all going to be 123 to 125, and they're all going to be bottled at that cast strength. So exactly. give me a little bit of idea. When you, I mean, you've smelled a lot of Bardstown yeah. whiskey. What's the house style to you? What are you looking for? Uh, the thing I think about the most is just balance. I think uh, we've done a great job of just getting, you know, the, the bold flavors, richness, uh, but uh, there's nothing to me, well, every barrel is different, but there a lot of these, that there's not too much that really overpowers, you know, not too much spice not too much sweet. I think there's a great balance in a lot of these barrels, and that's what I like in a, in a bourbon. Yeah. I think it's pretty oak forward, honestly, like just right off the bat, that's what, I, that's what I'm picking up. But there's definitely, to me, like a, a little bit of a fruit layer underneath it as well. Mm -hmm. And to your point, it is very well balanced. I mean, I think that was the, I don't know if it was the surprising thing about the Origin series, but I think when I tasted it for the first time, when people tasted it for the first time, the it was like, oh wow, this is like a very mature bourbon. This this tastes like it's coming from a distillery that's been around for 40, 50 years. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and that's one of the great parts about it. So, all right, let's take a little sip of this. So yeah, really nice. A little bit of fruit, then you get the sweetness, the caramel toffee, mm -hmm. a little touch of vanilla. Um, very soft, soft mid palate. A little spice from the proof, right? But it's not. You don't get like a strong oak note on the on the finish to me. All right, that's the first one. Let's do this. Let's do the second one. And I always tell people this on barrel picks. It's like, you know your palate changes after you taste the first one. No doubt. If you ever brought people back here and you reverse ordered them or jumbled them up the next day, thinking that they're gonna pick out the exact same thing that they thought yesterday, you know, it's, you have to kind of do the best you can with the palate you have at the moment. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times what I find, I don't know if you find this to be true, people pick there 
first one because their palate's fresh. And in their mind, it's like, oh, it's got all those flavors exploding. I really love the first one. There's something about the first one. Because then what happens is they go through two, three, four, five, six, or whatever. And then they come back to the first one. And because their palate's numb, it's like, oh, it's so sweet. It's so smooth. It's like, no, you. <laughs> right. I do the same thing. I, I have this thing where the first thing I taste is my favorite thing I've ever had. Mm -hmm. uh, so when I do these, I, I have to go back or I go through once and then I, I go back in a different direction and then I just kind of bounce around and try because you know one tasted right after another could be totally different if it's tasted after a different one right. so uh, I try to taste them in all different orders to really try to get an idea of, of that you know that one barrels I guess identity you know? right and that's also instructive to people if you really want to learn about flavor in bourbon or wine or anything, you say, try something side by side. You know, mm -hmm. you have to try it. If you just, if I just give you something and say, describe me what flavors you taste in this one item, you know, that's kind of hard to do for anybody. But if I give you two different things and I say, well, which one do you like better? Which one's got more oak? Which one's sweeter? Mm -hmm. It's good to have a contrast. All right, the second one I feel like is a little bit oakier. Mm -hmm. Maybe a touch more spice in the first one. Again, I felt like the first one was a little sweeter, especially in the mid palate, a little bit more mm -hmm. caramel, toffee, vanilla. I see that. All right, we're going, we're going fast, Vince. I'm with you. All right, here's the third one. Mm. Yeah, nice, nice balanced nose. Hmm. That one goes back to a little bit of sweeter style on the front. And then I feel like it gets a little bit more herbally, mid palate, mm -hmm. a little bit of mint emerging as well. A little bit of a different take. I'm putting one and three in the running so far. A little bit more complex even than the first or second one. Again, it's just very interesting to see how these taste as you do them side by side. I mean, and as anybody knows, any barrel pick that goes beyond like 10 tries is uh, it's kind of a shit show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I'd say three to, I'd say three up to six is the magic number. Any barrel pick I've ever done that's gone past six barrels. Yeah. It's like, it's a lot. yeah. Your palate's just going to be dead. Right. All right, I'm, I'm picking up a little bit more of that herbal mint note on the nose here. Mm -hmm. But again, that could just be my palate changing as we do this. And I'll show folks the color here. It looks a little bit lighter in the camera, but it's, it's a nice, rich, dark color. Do you know which part of the warehouse these came from? These would have all been fifth floor warehouse B. Okay. So warehouse B uh, only goes up to sixth floor, so it's just second to the top. Okay. Uh, but Pretty yeah, warm. Very warm. Pretty hot yeah. in the summertime. Yeah. Okay, maybe a little more chocolate, cocoa. Yeah note on that one yeah kind of a dark i get like a dark chocolate note on this one okay if i'm ranking them right off the top i'm going three one and four tie two on my bottom okay so i'd say it's a coin toss between one and three i'm gonna retaste one really quick I'm going to do exactly what I said people do as they retaste it and yep. they think it's better, right? Yeah. So maybe not as sweet that time, but again, it's changing. And if I go back to three... Yeah, I really like the complexity of three quite a bit. 
And I should state, uh, oftentimes in barrel picks, there is like a bad one. There's definitely not a bad one in this bunch. I'm not just saying that. Like, there's not a discernibly worse one. This is very, this is very nitpicky on this pick. Yeah, I think three is the one. Three is the winner. Okay. Yeah, that's just delicious. A lot of caramel. There's oak there. There's spice. Um, to your point, it's very balanced. Um, just a very sippable but but com complex single barrel. Yeah, six years is great. Um, you know, to me, I always tell people seven and 107, right? Because I'm a big Weller Antique guy. Mm -hmm. I like the weeded recipe, yep. but I also like this 30 plus percent high rye recipe. You know, once you get to seven years and 107 proof, you're kind of right in that target zone where you want to be. Yep. Um, and this is definitely, you know, six years at barrel strength. It's going to be big, um, but you are going to get the layered complexity of all those years in the warehouse. But it's still going to taste like bourbon. It's not going to taste over oaked. And these yep. don't taste over oaked. Mm -hmm. They're very balanced. So I don't know. What was your favorite? You don't have to agree I, with well, me. Well, <laughs> no, three was definitely in the running. I really liked one. Yeah. But again, it was the first thing I tasted. I'd have to go through a few more times, I think. Right. Uh, you went a little faster pace than what I'm used to. <laughs> that's uh, all right. But no, that's great. Uh, three, uh, two, two was not bad. It just wasn't my favorite one. So yeah. I would have eliminated number two right off the bat Yeah. Uh, after going through the first time. But uh, uh I was probably between one and three. Yeah, it was a coin toss for me between one and three. I just thought three maybe had just a touch more oak and a little bit more complexity to mm -hmm. it after I went back the second time. I think it's a great barrel, and I can't wait to uh, to get it in our stores. Yeah. All right, man. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate it. Of course. Yeah, cheers. Cheers.